All right, folks, Doc Blade from Forensic Golf. I'm going to give you two tips, two awarenesses that we've talked about often. I mean, we talked about them often, about the proper release, feeling that you're catching raindrops with the target side palm and the pelvic girdle and making sure that rear elbow is even with that pelvic girdle. It's going to put you in a good slot, a good swing path. So now you're going to be able to come from inside the square to inside, just making these two motions. If your arm is too far away from your, your body, you're going to pull the ball or hit like a big sling and hook. You're going to get immediate feedback from it. But when that rear elbow is even with the pelvic girdle, the rear pelvic girdle, it allows you to come from drop inside the square to inside. can't hit it no better than that just like that it does two things it allows you to come from inside the square to inside and it also gives you that full form release two awarenesses that we've talked about often now you're putting them together and starting to go to a different ball striking level take care folks Okay, folks, let's give you a caddy view. Remember, the two awarenesses is the rear elbow feeling like it's even or even a tad inside the rear pelvic girdle. And the second awareness is releasing the club, feeling you catching raindrops with the target side palm post impact. If you do it pre impact, you're going to pull your ball or hook your ball. These two awarenesses together. Are going to allow you to be to create what we call the slot coming from inside the square to inside and it's also going to allow you to release the club head fully and compress your ball you will never be holding off nothing again you will get all your speed out front and start crushing your ball I'm telling you, I can't hit it no better. Keep grinding. Take these awarenesses to the practice tee. Make them your own, and I guarantee you, your game going to go to new heights. Take care.